Okay. Um, we'll um, start with our next speaker now, uh, who um, is Sadia Walim. Um, she's also uh, joining us from Melbourne in the STEM Informatics group. Um, and uh, she's a, a software developer who's been doing an intern in the group there. Um, so look forward to hearing this one. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Sadia Walim, and uh, I, I would like to uh, talk about the STEM Informatics data portal. Uh, let me introduce uh, first. Uh, I did this uh, STEM informatic data portal uh, during my studies when uh, I recently graduated from University of Melbourne, and I'm working in University of Melbourne uh, just now. And uh, la last semester, uh, me and another student uh, did this STEM informatic data portal project. And it was four months project starting from uh, July 2017 and ended in uh, October 2017. Uh, STEM formatic data portal, um, I can say that it is, uh, it is, it provide you the, um, it is provide you the way that how the softwares are integrated with each other and provide you the way to access the resources. So, uh, I will brief you about the uh, STEM formatic and what is data portal and how the data portal integrated with the STEM formatics uh, architecture and what are the main features of the data portal and what was the use of uh, building the data portal and what was the what are the improvement needed still to be for the future development and consideration, and uh, what are the challenges that we have faced in building the uh, data portal, and how helpful will be the data portal for bioscientists and bioinformaticians. So as uh, Isha told you, uh, STEM informatics, what is STEM informatics? STEM informatics is a web-based pocket dictionary that helps the bioinformaticians and bioscientists to visualize their data sets in the STEM informatics, and then they can benchmark their data sets uh, against the 350 plus high quality manually curated data sets, which are residing in the STEM informatics. So what is Data Portal? It provides a platform to share high quality public data sets and it's also provide a way for more accessible and powerful searching on those data sets. Basically, uh, mm, these data sets are all public data sets, not the private one. And why we need the data portal? As Isha told that 29% uh, of the data sets failed the STEM formatics quality control, and that was the reason that STEM formatics come with the reason of building the data portal to share this information to the bioscientists, then they can uh, narrow down their search and benchmark their data sets with the uh, 350 plus high quality data sets. Okay. So how the data portal integrated with the uh, STEM informatics? Whenever the new uh, data set is requested, they are comes from the bioinformaticians and comes to the pipeline to process. And after processing, they directly goes to the STEM informatics. But data portal is integrated between them. The, they hold the pipeline data and store in the cloud storage and give the access to the STEM formatics to grab them from the cloud storage to download it and store them. So like Agile org, whenever the new data set is requested, it comes in the Agile org, and then they push to the high performance computing to process them, and then they go directly to the STEM formatic. But data portal, uh, uh, after processing, they directly goes to the data portal with the Python client, which uh, we develop and push to the cloud storage and store them in the cloud storage and use the API 
to grab the, those data sets from the data uh, uh, from the cloud storage. So the green line shows the cre uh, current implementation, and the few uh, the blue line shows the future implementation. Now I'm going to tell you in detail the what are the data flow in the data portal. This is the ecosystem of uh, STEM informatics, agile org, high performance computing, Swift storage, data portal, and STEM informatics. So when the new uh, data sets comes in the agile org, they goes to the HPC after processing five data files and three metadata files are created. And then the Python client that we develop run in the, on the HPC that push five data files to the cloud storage. And three meta, metadata files is, uh, has been updated with the API call to update the database in the, like this is. And this was, uh, this was done by Python client. And data portal web app, which is built in the pyramid, grabs that uh, files from the Swift storage via the um, link updated in the database. Uh, so what are the main feature of data portal? It provided a Python client to migrate data sets, files to the data portal and persisting them in the cloud storage. And why we use uh, cloud storage? Because it provides the persistence and low maintenance solution to store those data sets. RESTful API we use for easier and faster data transfer and communication between the server and we implemented some basics and filter techniques to demonstrate data sets in web app built in the pyramid. And we also stored the metadata for pyramid in PostgreSQL. So these are the technologies that we used uh, in, make, in building the uh, data portal. We use sent uh, OS platform. We use Python as a programming language and Mako and J JavaScript for developing the uh, web app and the pyramid for the web app framework, PostgreSQL as a database, and Nectar Cloud uh, to store the data files in them, and also Cornice API uh, for RESTful APIs. So this is the beta version of STEM formatic data portal. Uh, it gives you a basic searching option, like here, uh, here. And there is a link for um, this uh, STEM formatic data portal, portal.stemformatic.org. So this gives you a breakdown of the how many data sets are there, and uh, how many public data sets are there in the uh, prototype version of STEM formatics. So when you, sh uh, when you type uh, bone marrow or some basic searching, it will direct you to this page. And where if you write bone marrow, then it will give you three more options to download the metadata and uh, download the uh, files and some basic filter options and some specialized uh, filtering, which was very difficult to implement. Uh, because we don't have the bioinformatics, uh, bioinformatics back, background, and it was very difficult as a student to difference uh, between the species and tissue type or something. So we did uh, our best to implement this, and then, for example, here, if we choose sapiens, homo sapiens, it's 69 data sets, and then it's filtered out 69 data sets. And in each data sets, you can have an option to download it or view the summary like this. It will go to the, or di directly to go to the Stamformatics page. 
So what are the improvements needed for um, STEM-formatic data portal? Actually, it was a prototype project, so it needs something to be implemented in the future, and it was a very short student project. So handling of public and private data sets in future, and handling of multiple versioning of metadata. And also, it will need the more advanced searching criteria and feature to be implemented in the future, and need to explore a way of loading this data in STEM formatic, because the link is uh, still to be built for, to grab the data from the uh, data portal by the STEM formatics. What were the challenges uh, we faced in building this one? While uh, we were developing the Python Clang by using the OpenStack Swift storage, uh, there was an option to create the container all the time private. So we need to embed the command line script in our Python client to make the container public, because it's all about the public data sets. Otherwise, it's it doesn't mean if it is private container, nobody can download the data. So these are the useful link that uh, you can explore more. Uh, this is the portal .org. I can show you. Can anybody help? It's, I think it's it's Alan Rubin uh, laptop. It's great. Is there any mouse attached? Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, mouse is not working here. I'm not sure. The mouse is right there, not here. It's, it's on different screen. Mouse is trying to get the mouse to the screen. Yeah. Mouse is okay. 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 Sorry, uh, the link is. No, it's not working. Uh, for the code, uh, you can uh, refer the Bitbucket repository. All the Python codes and the web app code is available on this repo. So how helpful is the data portal for bioinformaticians and bioinformatics? Because uh, actually I told you that uh, these 350 plus high quality data sets are valuable to share with the, among the bioinformaticians to, um, to access the, those data sets and benchmark their data sets uh, with them. Uh, and 29 of percent fail the STEM formatics quality control checks. And uh, I would like to thank my uh, STEM formatic teams and funder and partner Linux Australia, the University of Melbourne, STEM Cell, and Nectar Cloud. 
And for any inquiry, uh, you can go to the gitter.im and info at stemformatic.org. Thank you. Thank you, Sadia. Um, we, uh, we actually have plenty of time for questions, yep. uh, if there are any. Um, don't be shy. Dennis has a yeah, question. Yeah. Sure. Why Nectar? Why Nectar? Because I, uh, on the, all the Stamformatic virtual machines are on the Nectar cloud. So basically, we need to choose the Nectar cloud and also our partner or funder of this project was the Nectar to have to <laughs> use that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do you have any question? Any? Um, I, I have a question. I'm, I'm not sure if it's better directed at you or at Isha, but yeah. um, uh, so is, is a user, uh, a user asks for some kind of processing a result or puts data in and then expects a result and uh, the Stemformatics architecture is going to then launch a job to process that, presumably inside of Nectar. I think she um, could uh, answer. And, uh, with I'm the just wondering, what, what are the logistics of that? What does that look like? Does that, does that go through a queuing system or? Yeah, so, so when um, a job gets launched to produce an analysis in a chart or a plot or something. So there's there's some glue there that basically links the Stemformatics web portal over to Galaxy for processing. Uh, yeah. yeah, the link is missing right now. It's not ah. implemented. Oh, oh, right. The blue okay. line, yeah, hmm. the green has been implemented, like pushing the data sets from HPC to the data portal, yep. but the link that grabs the data from the data portal to the STEM format, this link needs to be implemented in the future. Oh, yeah. I miss that. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A any other questions? Uh, actually, I think Isha will uh, uh, give you. Like, 
Okay, um, I think we'll uh, end the session there. Um, let's thank Sanya. Thank you. And all of the speakers in this session. And um, we'll resume in about 40 minutes uh, with, um, after the, the break, a little bit of extra time for the break.